you might like to do your wrapping in today. If you've done it already, you'll probably think I'm not changing. Yeah. But if you've got it to go, do you think about being more environmentally friendly yes. when you're wrapping your presents like our next guest? She's home organising expert and author Nicola Lewis. And she wraps her presents, look at that, in a tea <laughs> towel. Oh, that looks really good. Secured with a scrunchie and says wrapping paper should be banned. That looks gorgeous, as you say, Richard. That was yeah. absolutely lovely. Thank you. Or... Or do you prefer to use the sparkliest paper that you can find, just like the journalist Dawn Neeson? Good morning to you, Dawn, as well. <laughs> um, now, I have to say, if you do a, if you do a little side-by-side -side of those two, if you just both hold up your presents again, uh, tea towel wins, doesn't it? Do you think aesthetically? <laughs> I don't know. Wins? I think they're both gorgeous. But, look, no. the reason why you do this and you wrap your presents in a tea towel is because you say that wrapping paper... It is very bad for the environment. Give us the stats mm. on why you're so passionate about it. The problem, well, I'm going to give you the top tip, OK? The amount of wrapping paper thrown in the UK is enough to reach the moon every year. So that is a massive stat, OK? The reason I love to reuse a tea towel yeah. um, and wrap it in a gift is, like, it's three gifts. You've got the scrunchie, you've got the tea towel. Everyone loves a tea towel. And then the gift, and it's a zero waste gift. Yeah. So, so just, right. so, just so I understand, what happens is you you then keep the tea. You give someone a present. You then yeah. take the tea towel back, and then no, use they it. Have the they they as part of the towel. present. I mean, for the oh, no one's going to be giving back <laughs> the tea towel. <laughs> oh, I thought they were recycling the. No, no, the, that's, that's the part idea. of the gift, and then they get oh. the tea towel as well. What's going on? I You're forgetting the know. trousers. <laughs> You're stingily taking back the tea towel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought I thought that was the idea. The sort of no, the, the, but the, you're the, right. You could wrap a present many times over many years with the same tea towel. With the same tea yeah. towel. Well, no, I, I get I get your point. I mean, no. what would you feel like, Dawn, if you got a present wrapped in a tea towel? But you know what, Kate? It just reminded me that I had to do the washing up and the dry up later on that day. At Christmas, we all need a bit of sparkle, especially after the last 21 months that we've all had, OK? So this Christmas in particular, I've been obsessed with sparkles and sequins and I've got the glitteriest crackers I could find too. Because I just think we all need a little light in the darkness of the past few months. And this is the perfect time to be light and sparkly and shiny. And full disclosure here, this might be lovely, shiny wrapping paper, but it is fully recyclable, to be honest with you. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Well, because I was just about to say, surely what's inside should sparkle. I think the damage with wrapping paper, with glitter, going into our waste system is a massive, massive detriment to our environment. We really need to be conscious of that. And, you know, small steps mean, you know, massive, big steps. And I really feel that using glitter paper is something of the Christmas past. Uh, do, do, oh, good, we got a nice turn of phrase there. Do, this, this is a, a different but related stat that I just saw, which is a survey of 1,100 families in the UK showed that 99% of people throw away the cracker gift that you get on Christmas. 99% of people... That does expose a flaw in the cracker format, doesn't it? That 99% of people <laughs> throw them away. So the amount, Dawn, the sheer mm. amount, when you put it all together, also sellotape on paper, isn't recyclable. No. Aren't we moving to a point, Dawn, where we're just all more socially conscious of this kind of thing? Oh, you know what? Bar humbug. It's Christmas. Can we just take one day off from the lectures? We've had no, two years been lectured about COVID, about what we can and can't do, and, that, and, and the environmental thing. But I'm about as green as you can get, right? I don't even drive a car. I recycle everything. So I do my bit. I really do my bit. But on Christmas Day, I want a lovely gift wrapped in sparkly, recyclable paper that yeah, is going to... I, I don't want a lecture, Nicola, thank you very much, or a tea towel. Nicola, she doesn't want a lecture. Okay. I think that you can equally... I'm not lecturing you. I think you can equally wrap a wonderful gift. If you're doing this all year round and being eco-conscious, why not do it on Christmas Day? You can wrap with some beautiful natural craft paper, some twine. You could put some eucalyptus, some mistletoe, and it's a beautiful gift made with love. I'd much rather a gift like that.
Hmm. Do you, do you know that thing in the morning when you have young children and, and, you know, they often open 15, 17 presents or whatever it is? I think the average number is 17, isn't it, for young is kids? It? I think so. OK. Which is you just have an ocean of paper yeah. across the living room. And then if you have a dog, it's going around eating it all and tearing it apart. And it is... There is something about a tiny... But you know when you get a takeout on the next morning... You come downstairs and you can see all the remnants of it, and it's sort of all a bit Stale depressing. Curry that on the, table. It, it, the sort of old wrapping paper immediately becomes a tiny bit depressing. But, it, it... but you know, whereas with the, the the container for your curry sort of coagulating, yeah. with wrapping paper you can keep it. I mean, everyone used to tease me about being really mean, taking yeah. picking the wrapping paper up and keeping it and reusing it. But uh, I've always yeah. done that, and at least you can get a little bit more uh, uh, use out of it. Well, Nicola, that's but I answer, do agree it? with you in principle. Uh, we should yeah. probably take a, agree with you in principle. We should probably take a time off from lecturing each other, <laughs> and uh, uh, but also think about actually after Christmas Day, we want a great world, don't we, for the rest of the Absolutely. year and for New Year? And I agree. Yeah. I agree with you, Kate. Reuse, rewrap, and give more mindfully is mm. just a lovely way. And if you've got it. Just reuse it again. So well, that's yeah. Nicola. Isn't that actually also a solution, which is a sort of best of both worlds? Which is if you are going to wrap with paper, don't use sellotape, or maybe use some glue, but also just reuse that. Don't rip it up. Reuse that paper. Would that achieve no, the same agree. end? Yeah, I agree. Because I, with Dawn, I do love. You know, I agree. At Christmas time, it's so full of sparkle, and you do want to have all these wonderful things around you. But, and if you've got the wrap, something my grandma used to do is uh, after Christmas Day, she used to collect all the Christmas wrap, um, the bows and everything, and she used to reuse it. So she'd use it to wrap up mm. other gifts. So it wasn't effectively going into the bin. So that's another great way of reusing if yeah. you have already got the gift wrap. If someone gives you a present and it's clearly got wasteful, shiny paper and they've used loads of sellotape, do you, do you, Give it back to them? Do you throw it back at them? Do, what do you no, do? No, I'll do my best not to throw it, if I'm honest with you, <laughs> because I know it can't be recycled. And yeah. obviously, it's full of microplastics, um, which obviously we know where they go. Okay. So I would rather rewrap it and pass it on. Um, yeah. I haven't as yet, but you've actually made me think about maybe putting like a little note on it and saying, please reuse, pass it on. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it's, like a, parcel. it's been wonderful to talk to you both. That was really en interesting and entertaining. In our ear, they just told us to wrap it, which is slightly confusing. I We're thought gonna, it was yeah. comedy oh. genius. Yeah. Well done, everyone. We're, well we're wrapping done. it Thank in a tea towel. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and it's lovely to chat to you and some really good ideas as well, actually, there. So thanks very much indeed.